Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a review of some of the sheet masks and some of the um, chemical pills that I have done over the last couple months. I know when I did my March empties, I told you then I was going to do a mask review of the sheet mask that I had used during that month. And I haven't done that yet. So we're going to kind of combine what I've used in March and what I've used in April into one video. Um, and this is May the 1st, May Day, um, that I'm recording this, but it won't be going up probably for another week or so. If everything works out, um, we have moved and our internet that we have here is so slow that a 15 minute video will take 9 to 10 hours to upload. So I have to do it when we are at the, um, the shop and that even takes a long time. Anyway, and then I've been trying to use iMovie. My iMovie videos, one of them, it was a 20 minute video. It's a Project Pan update video. It was loading for three days, for three days. And it was still on that third day, it was only at 40% uploaded. So I just canceled it. I'm thinking, so I don't know what I'm going to do because I really like the iMovie um, program as far as, you know, editing it more than I do the one that I've been using. But anyway, Lord help me. It's been a challenge. So anyway, let's just start. Blah, 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 blah. Words are hard today. Yes. Let's get started with some of the masks that I've used. And I want to start with this little guy right here. And this I got off of Amazon. This is the Dr. Pedicure Foot Exfoliating Mask. And it's just one mask for your feet. Let's see if I can get a good close-up. It still has some plastic on it. Um, and it's just the little footies that you put on your feet. And you um, sit for a good 45 minutes. And then you rinse it off. And then within three to four days, your feet start to peel. And this is around $9.95, which is a lot cheaper than the baby foot version of it, which is $25, $28 for that. Anyway, I have used some of these two other brands, and I don't remember which ones they were. One I got at um, Marshall's and one I got at Ulta, I think. And they were okay. The first one that I got at um, Marshall's was not good at all. I wish I could remember what brand it was. It didn't do anything as far as exfoliating the feet. The other one, it did okay. My feet peeled a little bit. But this guy right here, let me tell you, if you have some deep calluses, like I wear flip-flops all the time. I mean, as soon as it gets warm enough outside, even if it's not, I've got my flip-flops on. And the way our winters here have been and Summer has been really, really long. Winters have been really, really short. I'm wearing flip-flops a lot. And this little guy right here, not only did it take off all of that and peeled off, but it has lasted a good four weeks. It's probably been a month ago that I've done this. And my feet still feel really, really smooth. They're not, you know, cracking around the edges and the calluses haven't built back up. Usually when I go and get a pedicure, they'll use that little razor thing and cut everything off, you know, scrape it with that razor. And then within a week, you know, your, re your feet are feeling rough again. This little guy right here, I'm telling you, I'm gonna order a couple more because I like that. And I ordered it off of Amazon, so that was a good one for the feet, for sure. Okay, now this is a sheet mask. This is the SK2 facial treatment mask and I got this in, in, in an influencer box V box and it came with the essence this was just the one mask I will tell you this was a really good moisturizing mask the sheet was a really really thick cotton sheet mask and it was very nice um, the mask itself the cotton or the size of it was kind of small because it didn't go, see it only went to here, and a lot of them will go like to here on you, but this one only went here, so it didn't really go 
all the way down my jawline like I like. So it was kind of a small sheet, and but it was really thick. I mean, it's very, 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 very sturdy. The issue that I have with this guy, and you're not gonna believe this. I don't. I just don't understand why a product should be this expensive. But for a pack of 10 I have my notes here for a pack of 10 that you can order off Sephora is $135 for a pack of 10 sheet masks I mean that's ridiculous when you can get you know these other masks these Korean masks because this is a Korean skincare off of Amazon and Hotlook and these different Korean websites at such a better value and do and work just as well as this does so um don't waste your money on them. I guess is what I'm saying. Basically because of the price. Now if you feel like you have that kind of extra money and that's what you want to spend it on, then by all means get this and use those and enjoy them. But I am going to pass. I'm not going to buy any more. They do, Sephora does sell where you can just buy one of the mask and it's $17 for one. So I'm going to pass on that. I just not not impressed enough to warrant that it would be a good value for the hundred thirty five dollars just not okay and then another little guy that I use and you see these in my empties all the time too and this is the um, Dr. Dennis Gross the Alpha Beta um, peel the original formula now if you have sensitive skin they do carry one that's for sensitive skin or if you're kind of on the fence of them, you know, you can get the original formula. They do have one that's a step above, that's the extra strength. That's the one that I really like. But it's just a daily peel. You just use number step one, you put it all over your face. It's a little square of cotton about this big and it's got the product on it. You rub it all over your face, do it all over your neck, down onto your decollete. And then you wait a couple minutes and then you do step two. You do it the same way the same thing as a piece of cotton you rub it all over your face all over your neck all over your decollete and then you just leave it you don't rinse it off um, you can use it in the morning or you can use it in the evening I like to do these little treatments at night before I do my nightly skincare uh, regime and a pack of these you can get 88 or not 88 a pack of 30 for $88 off of Sephora or if you just want to try them, they do sell a five pack for $16, which is not a bad price at all. And a lot of times Sephora will offer these in a, I think it's a two pack or maybe even a three pack in their 100 point perk um, little section on their website. Um, but they're not offered all the time, but when they are offered is when I usually get them. That's why I have the original formula. If I was actually purchasing, I would get the extra strength to like it better. But it's a really good um, peel, and I think it's very important. Not only do you do a sheet mask with different um, skincare elements that it's addressing, but also that you're doing some kind of a peel and also a scrub every week. Another peel that I've been using for the last couple of months are these little guys right here. And these are from Peter Thomas Roth. These are the Unwrinkle Peel Pads. And you get 60 in this jar from Sephora. And it was $45, which I think is a really reasonable price. And it's just a little, like a little cotton round with, form, with the essence on it or the serum or the formula whatever you want to call it it is a rough texture on one side and a smooth texture on the other I like to take the rough texture first and rub it all over my face again onto the neck and onto the decollete and then I'll flip it over and then smooth over it with the smooth side again this is a, a product that I like to use of the morning time before I do my skincare and it's a non rinse off formula you put it on you leave it on and you're good to go and these have um, alpha, beta, and gamma. They're 20% complex of exfoliators and amino acids. And it's the building blocks of peptides, exfoliates, resurfaces, and clarifies and firms. Um, I'm not so sure about the firming aspect of it, but I definitely know that they do do really good with exfoliation. So I've used several of those. 
And if your product, if you notice that your product is starting to dry out on top, take about midway down of your pads and flip them over and put them back in there and then they'll start resaturating. Just a little tip. Or you can store them upside down like that. Whatever you want to do. Okay, now I want to talk about this other little guy here that I got. Um, I ordered this off of Wish, Wish Trend website. I, if I remember, hopefully I'll remember to put the little um, link down in the little description box below where I ordered these from. Anyway, it's this little mask right here. Did I order these off of the Wish Trend or was this, or Anne, did you send me these? I can't remember. Anyway, these have the ingredient Sinaki, Sinaki, S Y N A K E, Sinaki. And it has a snake on here. And the reason why it has a snake on here is because this ingredient, this Sinaki, is supposed to replicate the venom from this viper. Um, what viper is this? I have this pulled up on my iPad here. Some kind of Asian viper. Oops. Oh, don't you hate it when you get those ads that pop up on here? Anyway, it's the Malaysian Temple Viper. And it's supposed to mimic, has elements in it that mimic the ingredients in the venom. It doesn't have actual venom in it. Anyway, it's supposed to work along the same lines as Botox, where it's supposed to relax the muscles in your face that's causing your face to drop and to wrinkle. I really did like this. I felt it was pretty moisturizing. Um, I'm not so sure about the relaxation of the wrinkles yet because I've only done one. I think that would be something that you would have to use consistently over a period of time before you would actually start seeing results. But I just thought that was very interesting that that is supposed to mimic or replicate, you know, the, the venom that's in this this viper. So anyway, so I did use that, and like I said, I'll put the um, website in the description box. I'm pretty sure it's a wish trend or wish website. Ugh, I can't remember. Ugh. Anyway, and it wasn't that expensive. I want to say maybe three three dollars, possibly a mask for that. So that was good. And then I had ordered this little pack off of um, Hope Look, and this is the Donkey Milk, the Skin Gel Healing, the Healing, and then there was one that's the Aqua. It's a two pack, so there was 10 each of the Healing and the Aqua, and I have used both of those, and I just thought that was so interesting about the fact that it actually has Donkey Milk in it. I mean, I have, that just baffles me that someone's out there the collecting donkey milk to put in to sheet masks. But I really did like this. They were both very nice. They um, both covered the face very well. Very hydrating. A wonderful mask. They weren't that expensive. Um, like I said, I ordered these off of Holt Look, and I think it was around $40 for this pack, which was really good for, for 20 um, sheet masks. So, like what, $2 a mask? So, I recommend those. And I have another, this little guy here. This is the Snell Hydrogel Mask. And, you know, Snell Essence. This contains 70% all natural snail slime. And, you know, in the Korean um, KV World, um, Snell Essence, Bee Venom, Donkey Milk, Snake Venom, <laughs> all of that is really, really good for your skin. So I used one of those, very much enjoyed it. I, I can't say anything really anything bad about any of these because I liked all of them. Um, this guy, I want to talk about this guy here because this one's a little bit different than any kind of mask that I've used before in the fact of the delivery system of it. Um, first of all, in this little pouch right here, it had the sheet mask, which was a, a dry mask. And then in here was the vitamin C powder, and then over here was the essence. 
So the, the purpose of it being all separated because of the vitamin C, we all know that vitamin C is a very unstable um, chemical, I guess, I don't know, powder, uh, vitamin C, exfoliant, essence, whatever you want to call it. I can't, I can't it's, the word's not coming to me. But anyway, once you get the air to vitamin C or once it comes in contact with the liquid, it becomes unstable. So they kept the powder separate. So you were supposed to roll this little guy up and then squeeze it and it popped the powder over into the essence. You mixed it all up and then you popped it over into your, your mask and then let it sit there and soak and then you put it on. So you can see that the vitamin C now has turned orange because it's had, you know, oxygen and it's been mixed and everything and so it's, it's unstable now but it's really a really good vitamin C mask and I don't know if I have more of those if I just ordered one or where I even got that at but I do recommend those for a vitamin C mask for doing this maybe once a week for exfoliation a really good one let's talk about the Sephora honey mask this one this is the honey eye mask this runs around at five dollars for one little mask it was okay it was kind of hydrating but not a whole lot um, not my favorite I think this one was in a pack a gift pack so um, I'm not gonna I haven't been really that impressed with the Sephora sheet mask uh, I know a lot of people are and maybe if you have that's the first time you've used sheet mask and you use the Sephora brand I could see you being you know, liking those, but once you start using these Korean ones, these really good ones, you'll you'll kind of see the difference between those and the ones offered at Sephora, as, as far as the Sephora brand goes. Now there was one, if I can find it, if I still have it, that I used for the eyes that I really, really, really did like. This one right here. This is from Mas the Maskology. This is the Revitalizing Eye Gel with Pearl Powder. I got this from Marshalls, and it was in a pack, probably like three, maybe five, for like six dollars, probably. Usually, that's about the price range that they are at Marshalls. I really liked this one. This was very hydrating. I felt like it was actually doing something for my under eyes. So I would get this as opposed to those ones from Sephora. I'm trying to hurry because I've already I've been talking forever. What is that? Okay. This one is from Etude House, and I'm pretty sure that Ann sent me one of these, sent me some of these. And um, this was definitely smoothing and hydrating. Um, it had a slight honey scent to it. I'll put it up close so you can see it. And it had a, a milky essence in it, but it was thin. It wasn't thick. And it was a little tacky at first, but when it started settling into your skin, it was fine. It felt good. And it left the skin very smooth and hydrating. So I did like that. And keep in mind that each one of these packs from the Martini, I can use three times because there's so much essence in here that when you're done with the mask, you take it off, put it back into your pack, put it in the ice box and you can use it the next day. I was able, I was able to get three uses out of each one of these. So actually I had six masking sessions from these two packs and they're like $7 a piece. Um, smell really good. It's not really good like bananas, but this stuff is so sticky, so sticky. Um, Afterwards, I mean, my face felt so smooth and hydrated. I mean, I love the way my face felt afterwards after it would settle and would kind of dry down and everything. But just the whole of putting it on and just sitting there with this sticky stuff on my face, I don't know. I don't know if I would buy those again. But um, anyway, I used those. Then I had this one from the Forever Young Energizing. I'm pretty sure I got these at Marshall's. This one was the orange. 
Um, definitely had a really good scent of orange scent. Um, the mask was a good size, not too small. Um, did not sting the eyes, it's very important. Some of these masks that are very, very drippy, they can drip in the eyes. I know there was one from the martini one, the, the saffron. This one was really bad about dripping into my eyes. Whew. Anyway, um, very good for exfoliation on that one. Same way with the, the lemon, the brightening lemon ones. Um, you can get a box of five of these for like $6.99. They're running anywhere from a dollar to two dollars a piece on match. You can also order these on Amazon. Um, these definitely were um, exfoliating and you could definitely tell some brightening with those and I used two of those. Okie dokie. I think I have one more little thing that I used and this was the Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment use one of those and to be honest with you this is in my little tray I put them in my tray whenever I'm done with them and I just I don't remember anything about it so it must not have been anything that great because I don't remember what I thought when I used it which I know that doesn't help you guys any because it's supposed to be a review so I'm sorry but it must not have been all that because I didn't even make any notes on it. I just stuck it in here. Usually I make notes and for cost, where you can buy it, what I thought on it, that type of stuff. But that one I just tossed in here and said, forget it. <laughs> anyway, so that is it for my mask that I used for the last couple of months. Um, I'm going to try and get better at doing this so it's not so long because I've gone a long time talking about sheet masks, which I love sheet masks though, and I love talking about them because I think they are a vital step to your skin care and to maintaining your skin, and if you're not doing some type of masking, you're really missing out. You're missing the boat on having really nice, pretty skin. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.